Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm Maggie Ostara. And today we're going to talk about the new transit of the sun and the earth that's going to start on Tuesday, May 21st. So I'd like to give you this information a little bit ahead of time so that you can plan. And the major themes are all covered in the comprehensive major themes transit report that I release at the beginning of the month. So if you haven't seen that yet, it's a good idea to go check it out so you can get the big picture. And then with each of these shorter transit reports, I'm really primarily focusing on what's happening with the sun and the earth, bringing in some other things when they're particularly relevant. And we're going to do that today. All right, let's Go ahead and dive in. In the last transit report, we had a really open chart. We didn't have any defined uh, centers and we didn't have any defined channels. And now we've got four defined centers and two defined channels. Uh, so we've got a lot of definition happening and uh, it's going to influence you depending on what is open um, in your human design chart. Let's take a look at this highlighted channel, the 2151. If you've been following along with the transit reports, you've heard me mention this a lot. I just want to note here that even though the North Node has moved out of the 51, here we've got Mars in the 51. So this particular channel is going to be lit up uh, during the time that Mars is there, which is from the 20th to the 27th so for about a month, because Neptune is in the 25. And Neptune has been in the 25 for a while it's going to be there so anytime another planet is lighting up that 51 we're going to have that channel defined and i think it's so interesting that during this period of time both in april and in may we've got so much emphasis in this particular channel which is a channel about initiating ourselves into higher consciousness and i've been calling the 51 the um, create your own breakthroughs um, energy lately so you're still going to have an opportunity to be really working that particular configuration uh, as it's showing up in, um, in the chart that's influencing everybody. And again, just as a reminder, this also means that, you know, the seven out of the eight of us that have an open will center are going to have a defined will center during this time. So it's a really wonderful time for you to be uh, upgrading your sense of worthiness, your sense of value, and your relationship to money. And the sun and the earth are lighting up the channel 3420. So the 3420 goes from the sacral center to the throat. It's the only channel that goes directly from the sacral to the throat. It's colloquially known as the channel of the manifesting generator because it is kind of the quintessential manifesting gener generator energy, right? Because it's the motor directly to the throat. It's super powerful because the sacral is uh, the, the one motor that has sustainable long-term energy. All of the other motors have variable energy, but the sacral, if you're taking good care of yourself, you're living your design, then that sacral is just going to be there, you know, like the Energizer bunny battery for you. And that's that 3420 has that kind of energy to it. It's very fast and it's very potent and very powerful. It is an energy that's good to be, for you to be aware of uh, because it can kind of run you around in circles. If you don't know what's happening, like if you don't know that this transit was happening, you might all of a sudden be like, wow, I've got all this energy, but I'm just kind of going in all these different directions. I'm not really sure where to focus. I'm not really sure what to do. Or you find yourself moving from thing to thing to thing to thing to think because that 34 can really drive you that way. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the specifics of the different gates. So the earth and the gate 34 is actually a really nice configuration because the earth is really grounding, it's calming, it's centering, and it's helpful to grab a hold of all that power that's in the gate 34. I mean, the gate 34 is called the gate of power, right? It's just a lot of energy. It's also colloquially known as uh, the busy gate, and it is a gate for multitasking. And so it can be super beneficial beneficial for that. And it can give you a lot of energy to be creating, to be um, being active, being involved in things. Um, but like I said, it can kind of run you around because that energy to multitask, if you're not paying attention, can scatter you. I've met a number of people with the 3420 um, or, in, or even just with the 34 who have struggled with being um, scattered, right? Kind of running around in circles. 
So it's great when the earth is lighting it up because it's kind of like, hmm, <laughs> right? Let's ground ourselves in that. And it helps ground all that power of the gate 34. And then the sun is lighting up the gate 20, which is on the throat. And in traditional human design, it's known as metamorphosis. And in quantum human design, it's known as patience. There is a kind of creative tension right here built into this channel because the 34 is kind of like, go, go, go. And the 20 is like, is it the right time? Is everything in place? Is it the right time to act? Should we wait? So it has this kind of patience to it, which helps to temper that go, go, go of the 34. It can feel a little annoying because it's like, oh, I need to wait, but I want to go, but I need to wait. Oh, but, <laughs> right? But the thing is, is that that 20 helps us to calm down that energy of that 34 a little bit so that we can harness it and then direct it where we will. You may have heard me talk before about how if you don't learn how to manage your own energy or the energy of the transits, then they can manage you. They can send you around. They can get you to do certain things. It, it's like these these are powerful energies. And mostly, you know, if you don't know human design, you don't even know that they're they're affecting you and influencing you. So you're already ahead of the game because you're getting this information and you're using it in your life, I hope anyway. And so you want to be able to work that creative tension uh, to, to harness the power of the 34, but not let it run you around and then be able to direct it at the right time with the right actions. And so the 34 is responsive because it is on the sacral center and all of the gates and all of the energy of the sacral is responsive. And so we want to be able to be responding to things as we're doing that. That can also slow you down a little bit with that 34. It's not just about like getting an idea and then going and manifesting it, right? It's about being able to get an idea and be like, hmm, okay, let me, let me mull that over a little bit. Let me be that with that a little bit. You know, let me write about it or draw about it or talk to somebody about it. Let me just kind of see what wants to, to happen with it. And then you see if something shows up in your outer reality or if you receive an invitation about it or if you get a creative, another creative impulse that for you feels like a confirmation, right? So the, even the best ideas, even the best invitations, even the best possibilities expressed to at the wrong time for the wrong to the wrong people, you know, just fall flat. So it's really worth it to cultivate your ability to uh, pause a little bit and be discerning about is this, you know, really the right time? And is this the right action for me to be engaging in? Because that is moment when you can choose not to just jump into something, right? Or just um, give in to the power of the 34 will save you a lot in the long run. Because if you just run at something, right? If you're scattered and you just kind of run at it, your opportunity for success is limited. Whereas if you're more discerning about right timing, then you have a better chance of, of doing well with it. So you want to kind of work that creative tension that's happening in that channel. And at the same time, the 3420 can be a huge boon to you if you're working on a project, if you're trying to get something done, or if you're trying to get something started and getting it going. It can be, I mean, I know that 34 has helped me to create a lot of the things that I've created. I mean, it helps me shoot these videos for you every month. <laughs> So it can be awesome for that. I just want you to be able to avoid the pitfalls that can come with it so that you can be more in command of your energy field and what you're receiving and then what you're what you're putting out into the world so that you can actually create more and receive more with less effort. Wouldn't that be awesome? And just remember, for those of us with open throats or with defined throats, but they're not motorized, we're all going to have motorized throats, just like we did a few transits ago. So for those of us who have open throats, be aware, like for me, when that 20 gets defined like that, sometimes I can blurt more. Sometimes I can be because all of a sudden the energy is like kind of like wanting to pop out of my mouth in a way that it doesn't usually since I have an undefined throat. So if you have an undefined throat, pay attention. 
because you may find that some things are blurting out or you might find that you start having that verbal diarrhea that you can get. The The, the good part is, is that your expression um, is probably easier. Your articulation will be easier. Your ability to activate and manifest will be easier. Um, however, you might fall into some of those pitfalls that are specific to if you have an open throat. And for those of you who don't have a defined sacral, you're going to have a defined sacral. And so for our projectors and our manifestors and our reflectors, you're going to get to see what it's like to have that sacral energy, not just from other people, but actually during this entire transit. And uh, so you might find that you just have a lot of extra energy um, to be engaging with things that matter to you. So make the most of it. But <laughs> when the transit is done, make sure you get a rest too. And if you haven't already, I want to encourage you to get all of the images from the transit report this month. This is a new um, uh, benefit for you uh, for being part of my community. And I'm excited to see how you like it and if you find the images helpful for you. So the registration for it will be down in the description. And I would love to hear from you about how you're using them. If you find them beneficial, I will continue to uh, offer them if this is something that you like. Um, so I really want to hear about that. Okay, many blessings. Much love.